Alrighty, let's talk about shock in the setting of a trauma patient. So trauma patient um, will come usually from a motor vehicle accident and he will come with shock and you, then you have three main diagnoses. First, hypovolemic shock. Second, tension pneumothorax. And third is cardiac tamponade. So, how to differentiate? The first step is to look at the jugular venous pressure or the central venous pressure. If it's decreased, boom, it's hypovolemic shock. This patient is bleeding and this is the cause of the shock. He's bleeding maybe like in uh, hemorrhage uh, externally or maybe internally. However, if the jugular venous pressure is increased, you have to look at the physical findings. So, if there is severe respiratory di distress, decreased breath sounds on one side of the chest, also hyperresonance to percussion and tracheal deviation through physical exam, then this is tension pneumothorax. The reason is tension pneumothorax is accumulation of air, okay, in the pleura. So it will push the trachea to the opposite side. It will decrease the breath sound because less air is going through this lung. This lung will now collapse. And there is also hyperresonant to percussion because air is hyperresonant and respiratory distress because the problem is in the lung. So this is tension pneumothorax. However, if there is no respiratory distress, we found Beck's triad, which is basically jugular venous distension. We said that all of this is increased in jugular venous pressure. You find um, also in the Beck's triad, there is hypotension and there is muffled heart sound. The way I remember that, like I draw this triangle and then anything above is increase anything below is decreased so here we have only one increase the jugular venous pressure and here we have decrease in the blood pressure and decrease in the heart sounds pulses paradoxus in cardiac tamponade when there is a lot of blood surrounding the heart the pericardium it pushes on the right ventricle because it's the lower pressure ventricle and the right ventricle will therefore push on the septum and push on the left ventricle so the blood coming through the aorta will be less like there will be less pressure so on inspiration the um, shift will be more because on inspiration you're decreasing you're creating more negative uh, intrathoracic pressure shifting the blood into this side and the heart will press this right interventricular septum left through the aorta so on inspiration there is decrease in the systolic blood pressure more than 10 because less than 10 is normal more than 10 millimeter mercury and also we have electrical alternates on ekg basically you have a strong bead high voltage then low voltage then high voltage then low voltage because the heart is swinging inside the chest cavity because it's swinging inside of a pool of blood so this is cardiac tamponade and tension pneumothorax and hypovolemic shock so patient comes in with shock due to trauma you have three main diagnoses hypovolemic shock tension pneumothorax or tamponade First thing to look at is the jugular venous pressure. Decreased, boom, hypovolemic shock. Increased, I will wait and see the physical findings. If there is severe respiratory distress, decreased breath sounds on one side of the chest, hyperresonance to percussion and tracheal deviation, that's tension pneumothorax. If there is no respiratory distress, there is big triad, which is jugular venous distension, hypotension, muffled heart sounds. Pulses paradoxes and electrical ordinance and maybe peripheral edema, that's cardiac tamponade. How to manage this? Um, tension pneumothorax, you can do the needle thoracotomy, like push a needle through the pleura to drain the air. 
and then you will have to do to insert a chest tube and correct it to underwater seal in tamponade the same you do needle thoracotomy into the pericardium to drain the blood or you can use pericardial window or maybe even like open thoracotomy those are the options in hypovolemic shock you have to give fluids and treat the underlying cause if you can find it. that's it